Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. Today in this session, we will discuss the separation of photosynthetic plant pigments by using paper chromatography. So friends, let's get started. Starting with the introduction, chromatography is a method that separates different components of a mixture in the form of colored streaks. And for this reason, it is also called color writing. It separates molecules based on size, density and absorption capacity and depends upon absorption and capillarity. The absorbent medium holds different molecules by absorption and capillarity pulls the substance up the absorbent medium at different rates. In paper chromatography, the components of a mixture separate on the absorbent paper. Using paper chromatography, we can separate plant pigments like chlorophylls, xanthophylls, carotenoids, etc. Here in this diagram, you can see the liquid mobile phase and chromatography paper as the stationary phase. And on the start line, you have to put a drop of the mixture. By the capillary action, solvent moves up, separating different components of a mixture in the form of distinct colored bands. For the separation of plant pigments, first we have to prepare a concentrated leaf extract for which we need a beaker containing water, fresh spinach leaves, scissor, mortar and pestle, acetone and watch glass. To prepare the leaf extract, first wash the spinach leaves in the beaker containing water and after washing, take out the spinach leaves and allow the moisture to dry out. Then cut the spinach leaves using scissor into the mortar. After that, add a little volume of acetone into the mortar. Here acetone is used because it gives high resolution of molecules between the absorbent paper. Then crush the leaves using pestle until a liquid paste forms. At last, take out the mixture into the watch glass. Then in the next step, we have to load the concentrated leaf extract onto the absorbent paper. And to do so, we need an absorbent paper, pencil, scale, scissor and dropper. To load the leaf extract, we need a Wattman filter paper. For better results, we can cut the bottom margins to make a conical edge. Then using pencil and scale, draw a line above 2 cm from the bottom. Here pencil is used because pencil marks are insoluble in the solvent. And after that, load the concentrated leaf extract on the center of the start line. Then at the same time, dry the filter paper. To make the spot concentrated enough, put more drops of the leaf extract. Then to set up the chromatography chamber, we need a measuring cylinder, ether acetone as a rising solvent, cork stopper and a pin. To set up the chromatography chamber, add a little volume of the rising solvent to the measuring cylinder. Then bend the filter paper from the top and attach it to the cork stopper using push pin. Here you need to keep in mind that the filter paper should not touch the surface of the measuring cylinder and the bottom edge of the filter must be only in touch with the rising solvent. After that, allow the solvent to run through the filter paper via capillary action. Here you will notice as the solvent moves up, pigments like chlorophyll B, chlorophyll A, xanthophyll and carotene will separate in the form of different colored bands, as you can see in this diagram. At last, we can calculate the RF value of each pigment using a scale. RF stands for retardation or retention factor. Here the distance is calculated from a line drawn by a pencil. Then after recording the distance, put the values in the RF formula. That is the distance traveled by the pigment from the sample spot upon the distance traveled by the solvent or solvent front. Now prepare an observation table for the pigment separated from the spinach leaf extract. So friends, this is all for today. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So friends, if you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.